Hey y'all, <clears throat> welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny, and you don't ever really know what you're going to get up here. I don't even know what you're going to get up here half the time. But anyway, for today's video, I just wanted to do a full face of nothing new. Y'all might not have seen it, but I have. So, I am going to start out with putting some eye cream on. Because, y'all, I need it. <laughs> I need it. If I can get it open. And, I'm just going to use this uh, glow recipe. Avocado. I think it's what it's called. Avocado melt retinol eye cream. And, I really enjoy this eye cream. I've been using, um, what's it called? Dr. Brandt. Um, been using that for years. And my eyes were still crepey. I mean, it is what it is. I'm almost 50 years old, so they're going to be crepey. But I like this. It kind of soaks in good. So like that. And then I'm going to prime the rest of my face with I'm going to use this Tatcha because I'm trying to finish it up and it is almost out. So I've said this before and I will say it again. This is not worth the price tag that they have put on it. But, that's just my personal thought and opinion on it. You may think something different, and if you do, I am glad that it worked for you and did something for you. Believe me. And I do have the um, e.l.f. putty primer. And, whoops, I do not see any difference in them. Okay. Put enough on my face to say I got it up there. <laughs> now, let's see. It does give a white cast. I don't like that. I do not like that one bit. Y'all, I know my fingernails are, are really bad looking, but it's winter, and they're going to look like that. I can't help it. Let me adjust, y'all, and see if I can get this better. I feel like I'm cutting off half my face. Hold on just a minute. All right, let's see if this works a little bit better. I am going to prime my eyes with my Gerard Cosmetics clean canvas. Highly recommend. And you can use several, there's several options, there's several people that I'm subscribed to that have codes. Any one of those would work and Jen's personal code that she set up so that um, all of the commission, so to speak, goes to um, an, at the animal charity. So, and her code is RESCUE, R-E-S-C-U-E. And that's what I tell people to use. Or if you have your your favorite influencer, YouTuber, Instagrammer, TikToker, all those other things, use that one. All right. But I highly, highly recommend this stuff 
there's not a lot of things in the makeup realm that I would, can honestly say, I would repurchase. But that, that is one of them. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to use, pulled out my L'Oreal True Match, the um, Hyaluronic Tinted okay. Serum. So, I did use, I went ahead and put the, where are you at? Uh, L'Oreal Hyaluronic um, True Match Nude. And I have the shade, this is 2 to 3 light. And I have the shade below this. Um, and I really probably should have mixed it a little bit because <clears throat> now that we're getting into fall, I don't have <laughs> my um, my summer tone. I don't have it anymore. It's, it's going away from here. <laughs> but, and I did apply that with a brush. I used a um, foundation brush, and I'm just pressing everything in with a sponge. I am not as fond of that foundation as the internet, but, and I'm just going to use this Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer, and this is in the shade 007 Natural Rose, and <clears throat> speaking of repurchasing, this I have repurchased several times in several shades um this came out before the um their what's it called the the newest one their popular one and just gonna I needed to lighten that up a little bit it seemed a little What's everybody been up to? I have been up to nothing. Absolutely nothing productive, y'all. And that's all right. That is all right. have been I went back and I noticed last night that I um, uploaded a video and I, I uploaded it but I set it to um, upload at a specific time I don't remember what time I'm going in with the one size and <clears throat> You know, I thought it was a short one, and I thought, oh, gosh, I thought that look took me a lot longer. Went back, and so I was watching it. The whole thing didn't upload. So, and I noticed it late last night. I put a pinned comment up there. It's the um, video with my Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. And so, and I can't find the rest of it, the rest of the footage, but it kind of inspired today's look, I look, that I want to do. Um, because I used the green shade in that palette, and I was, this is the first time I've ever been disappointed by a, so far, <laughs> by a Sigma um, palette. So, I'm gonna go in with some cream products. That's why I just powdered just a little bit right there. But, I'm gonna go in with my makeup. 
Revolution my matte cream bronzer. Is that what it's called? Ultra cream bronzer. What did I say? Matte cream bronzer. Let's find me a brush. You know what? I think I'm going to use... I'm going to use this brush right here. And... When you open this, I mean, it just, you immediately get that coconut smell. And it smells so good. I put my fall scents in my, um, Scentsy Burners this morning. And, um, oh, they smell so good <laughs> coming through. But I'm still holding on to that little, little, little glimpse of summer that um, this bronzer's given me. This smell really didn't need too much because this foundation is a little dark. But I think, oh me. But. They just take and whatever's left up here. I, I don't, I don't contour necessarily. <laughs> I just kind of take it and run it along the side of my nose, and I don't really see it does much of a difference. But it makes me feel good to know that I'm doing it. <laughs> if that makes a bit of sense. So and then for my cream blush. I'm going in with this Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo. And, you know what? I'm just going to use the same. Oh, uh, no, I'm not. I want to use a stipple brush for this. And I'm going to use this one that I always use. This is an AOA Studio um, High Def Stipple Brush from Shop Miss A. And... I love this brush. I have a couple of them, actually. And, you know, I always put a little bit up here on my forehead. Mmm, yes. I think I will use a little bit of the highlighter, the cream highlighter in here. Let's see. I'm going to use that on this sponge, though. Because, is this cream? Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to put a little bit right there. I don't know if y'all can really tell. I can. Gotta dab that eye because all right, I'm done with y'all. Thank you. And I'm gonna set that stuff with just a little bit. I pulled out this uh my Charlotte Tilbury, the bron the what is it? Film star bronze and glow. And I'm just gonna put a little bit over top of that bronzer. I, I would not repurchase this, but I do like it. And I have it. And I'm trying to use it. The one that I like better is actually from Makeup Revolution. Come to think of it. And I had that before I ever even knew what this stuff was. And I'm not going to use the highlighter in this one. But let me go in this blush. I'm using this Tarte. And I'm going to go in with, I usually use this side 
um, during the fall and um, winter. And I'm just going to take and kind of swirl in all, uh, all four of these. I'm not going to swirl in that one because it's a highlighter. So I just kind of take my brush and just go like that. Get enough up there that I do both cheeks. And I'm just going to cover that cream bronze blush up the face a little bit. And I'm going to take my sponge on a clean side. And kind of press all that in that powder and I'm gonna set my highlighter with my Sigma glow kiss to palette and I'm gonna use the shade Twilight which is right here this is a pretty color to me it looks dark in the pan kind of sort of but it's not Look it on the nose a little bit right there. Now, for my eyes, I am going in. I'm trying to make some room on my desk here. Let's see. Let me feel. Yeah, I really want to set my face. I have dry skin. Very, very dry skin, but I just do not feel confident if I don't set it. So, I put a little bit on this brush, and I'm just going to go in, do this number right here. Just till the foundation doesn't feel wet. I guess I, I say set the foundation, but... I really, I just don't want my face to feel wet. Okay. There is that. But, back to my Sigma story. So, it's, it's still up here. And, I think I may just... Well, I may leave it because, I mean, let's be honest, I need the views, but I may do another look with that palette. I mean, it is one of, I mean, all the Sigma palettes are some of my favorites, so I'm just going to, for my brows, I'm going to do just the, the minimum. They are on a journey of their own. They grow like they want to. And no amount of shaping that I can do will get them like the uh, cosmetics industry says they should be. So, they're going to be like I want them to be. Which is just like this. Okay. These darn eyes. I, s I have, I talk about my watery eyes all the time. It's kind of, as soon as it starts to come out of my mouth, I kind of get a little chuckle because I'm like, Lord, here I go again talking about these eyes. I have been to the doctor about them. And 
the first thing the optometrist the, 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 the optometrist asked me was um I'm going in with Maybelline's lip liner and almond rose she said well do you have allergies do you take Flonase I said I do I take Flonase every single solitary day and it does nothing for me but I still do it still take them because it may be doing something you know that I just don't see but it does not do anything for my watery eyes and when she looked um, wait a upon closer inspection or whatever you want to call it in my eyes she well she numbed my eyeballs first and then she looked in them and my um it's, it has to do with my tear ducts. Uh, I, because when they water, they water on the ends, but it's coming from up here. It's like my, this is going to sound so off the wall, but in, yes, when I cry, I tear up, whatever, my tears fall, but they also, they go up right through in here i mean i'll have rashes up in here at times where it's it stays damp for lack of a better word so it is what it is but i know i bitch and complain but you know i have had it checked out now i'm gonna a little bit kind of tap everything in let's see now we can get on with the eyes okay so I pulled out my um, Z palette well this is an Amazon palette and when it came in it was 12 to piece I was so mad so I took me some glue and I fixed it. But anyway. So this has some of my Makeup Geek shades, shadows in it. And some of these came from, these are all Makeup Geek. Some of them came from a mystery. Um, she had, before she announced that she was closing, she had a mystery, um, mystery sale going on where I think it was ten dollars ten or twenty dollars for ten shades or mystery or whatever anyway I got the bundle and then I got a um mystery thing and some of them I did have and I had duplicates of so I did get rid of some of what I some of the new stuff but what I didn't have, I kept and put it in here. And I got another one with the round pans. And I mean, that one's, I've hit pan on multiples of those. But Makeup Geek, RIP, some of the best I've ever used. But, so, short story long, again, this color right here, now this was in that mystery color and I can tell you why because I would have never picked this green color for myself but look at that that is gorgeous gorgeous 
So, but I used a green in the warm neutrals palette and it it was not pretty. It, it just was very, it lacked a lot. So, I'm going in with, so when I was deciding to do my makeup today and I pulled this palette, I got, I saw that color, I said, yep, redemption. So, I'm going in with Honey Badger. That is, that makes me laugh. My, um, my brother and I, I don't even know if some of you guys know this or remember this, but way back, years and years ago, when the, um, Honey Badger, I don't know, I mean, whatever they call it, but anyway, it was, they had the Honey Badger and the, the little tagline was, Honey Badger don't give a shit, and it just shows a YouTube video, actually, it was a YouTube video, anyway, oh God, so, my parents, you know, they didn't watch YouTube or one on, I don't even think it was on social media. Anyway, but the Honey Badger was one of those that everybody shared. Everybody sent it to somebody because it was just so funny. You know, it would show the Honey Badger, a Honey Badger walking up to, you know, Big Animal. And it was narrated. And it was almost dry humor, if you would. And, it, you know, anyway, the, some of the voiceover was, was you know, Honey Badger. Honey Badger don't give a shit. And it was just, it just was the funniest thing. It was to me and it was to my brother. And so we always would laugh and joke about that, you know, when we were um, all together at my, at my parents' house, you know, especially if the situation arose and it was funny and we would just kind of look at one another and go, yep, honey badger. So for Christmas, I, uh, <laughs> excuse me, I made him a cup, a coffee cup. He drinks coffee and I, you know, I, I have a Cricut and I don't ever use, but when I first got it, I used it. But anyway, so I made my brother a cup and I think it said something like the number one honey badger or the original honey badger or something. Anyway, that shade made me think of that. It's a funny memory. All right. So I went in with honey badger. And now I'm going to go in with this little bit of a browner shade. That honey Badger's kind of coming off kind of orange. This is in the shade Cheetah Bear. And that's what that looks like. And I am going to put this on a smaller brush. Which will be Well, that's the same number brush, Jennifer. Let's put you on this brush right here. This is a Fidelium Tools brush, a 775 blending from the Golden Triangle collection. And I'm going to go in with that shade just a little bit. And let's see what this looks like. I had never used this shade. So let's see what we're going to get with it. Okay. It is a little bit on the cooler side. But that's all right. We deepened it a little bit right there. Fur baby barking. They must be walking on the road again. They were putting the signs up when I got back from 
taken. Little man. To uh, school. Hmm. All right. Now I'm going to go into this shade, which is the shade Brick House. Thought that's what it was. And I'm just going to use this same brush. And I'm going to give it a little bit more warmth. Run it a little bit further in the crease right here. Because I know that uh, green shade is going to transfer up. My eyes are watering really, really terrible. But, you know, it's what I live with. Now, I'm going to take a clean, big old brush and just blend everything and this is a, I think this is a Sonia Kashuk brush, but anyway, it's a big old fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go over the top like that and do it on this eye. And this is my eye with the dry patches, so it looks Now, let's go in with, let's see, oh, ma'am. I'm going to put this green, what is the shade name? off so good on the brush. I'll have to pop the shade name in the description if I don't forget. It's these are tight these are pretty tight in here so oh that's stunning absolutely stunning really pretty this is what I wanted that palette I mean that green and that Sigma palette to be but it wasn't Wow and this is I mean I wet this to do this eye but I mean I didn't wet it again to put it on this, and so this is dry, and that's wet. I will wet it now, now that I said something. Okay. So, so pretty. Now, do I want to do anything else? I kind of do. There's this shade. It's called Karma. And it's a... It looks like that. And um, that top one, that's it. Um, and right there. It's kind of duochrome -y. Yes, it is. 
we gonna put it on see what it does anyway if it does anything what does it what how does the saying go in for a penny in out for a pound well don't really see that it did anything but it may be that it's just that green may just be too prom <clears throat> too prominent. Now I'm gonna take this brush that I was using and I'm just going to go I gotta hold my hood up and blend. So it's going to transfer. And I'm not going to do anything on the bottom. Because, you know, watery eyes and all. So, but can I do anything else to amp this up? I sure can. Because it's sitting beside me. And I'm going to put this on. This is the um, KVD Dazzle Stick. And I'm going to use my finger of this and I'm going to just pop a little bit of that in the center and actually let me try it with the stick okay yeah definitely go in with the stick it's kind of packed up there Pat it in a little bit. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do. Time's up. Put your hands up. <laughs> Let me pop a little gloss. I'm gonna use this um, Medusa's Makeup Disco Queen Lip Gloss. And... This came in my Slay Glam box for August, and I really like this lip gloss. I didn't really think it was going to be my, uh, cup of tea for every day, so to speak, because it's, I mean, it's holographic and all that. But it wears good, and I really like it. And it goes over anything. So, this is it. This is the final look of a full face of nothing new. Let me get up close so you can see my balls. All right, guys. No mascara today. No eyeliner. This is it. Nothing fancy. <laughs> All right, guys. Give this video a like or a dislike. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. Be beautiful and be kind. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.